Hey everybody, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we finish this large pole barn slab. Now, part one of this video, this is part two, was I showed you how we poured this thing. And if you haven't seen that yet and you want to see, watch that first, I'll have a, a link for it pop up right up here at the top of the screen. You can go check that out, then come back and watch this after. Or I'll, I'll also have it linked at the end of this video if you want to just go ahead and watch this first, then go back and watch that. But for you guys that have, if this is your first time here, for you guys that don't know me, my name's Mike Gay. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, Everything About Concrete, where we talk about all kinds of different things to do with concrete. Uh, concrete floors, slabs, pool decks, patios, stamp concrete, concrete repair. So if you like that kind of stuff, go ahead and hit subscribe now and hit the little bell notification. I come out with a couple videos a week. So this, this pole barn slab is, is a 60 by 40 slab and then on with three floor drains. It's got three center drains in it. And then on the side here, on the left-hand side, there's also a flat part for storage. So what we're doing now is we're starting to float this thing with a power trowel. We're starting to finish it. And we I always call the first pass like this float. So we put these uh, little bit bigger blades on called float blades over the finish blades and that's why we call it float because we call those float blades so if you did watch the first video on where we poured this thing you'll notice that i'm starting to power trial it right where we started pouring that first truck so the first truck is drying first and we're moving on to the second truck what luke's doing out there on those knee boards is he's magging around those floor drains making sure the concrete matches the floor drains perfectly so there's no lip there there was no sagging in the concrete when we poured it so he's uh he's out there magging them by hand that way he doesn't have to get a bunch of footprints out there for me now if you notice what he luke did is he grabbed the squeegee there was a little tiny puddle there and what we want to do is we don't want to work that water into the surface with a power trial so he's squeegeeing that little bit of water right out over the edge and uh, you know i highly recommend that if you guys run into finishing concrete and you got some bleed water on there that didn't quite evaporate but the concrete's ready to power trial you know just squeegee it off just get rid of it and it dries up pretty fast after that especially if you're out in the sun so as you can see i'm moving along just power troweling what's ready you know the most and sometimes it dries a little spotty you know depending on where the shade is as you can see in that front piece where the the storage piece right here on the left you can see how that a little bit of that is still in the shade and you know part of it's in the sun so that's really going to dry differently in those two areas and you know that's how this big floor was when we first started it was all in the shade sun was coming up behind the trees and then it slowly worked its way into the sun so I'm hitting this in a pattern, you know, when we run a power trial, we always run a pattern and it's usually, you can see I'm going to the left right there now, that's usually the finish pattern and we try to go from left, drop it down about the width of the power trial, go to the right and then we bring it back up about halfway in between and go back to the left and that's the pattern if you notice how we finish here as you watch the video. Uh, we try to finish our floors and then the next time we hit that area we cross that pattern and go 90 degrees the other way so if we're going let's say we're going east to west on one hit the next time we hit that area we'll go north to south that's just pretty normal that helps flatten out the floor even more uh, take out any little humps or dips and make sure you don't create any dips in the floor so what Luke's got, Luke's got our big four-footer there from Marshalltown. Um, that thing's awesome. If I got a link for that down in the description, guys. If you guys are looking for a power trial, I'd highly recommend uh, a power trial there from Marshalltown. You could go down there and check that out in the, in the description. But that thing runs really, really nice. That's got a 12 hus motor on it. It's a 46-inch power trial, and it it covers a lot of ground. So it you know it almost takes the place of two of those trials that, that I'm running there. So now I'm, I'm floating the, the third truck and 
I'm going to move part of that third truck was in that little flat area. You can see how some of that's starting to dry. And some of it still looks pretty wet. That was the very last truck. And what Luke's doing is he's going back up to where I started. And he's starting to finish that with the with what we call the laydown blades or the finish blades. So he's that's drying pretty fast out there in the sun. It was pretty warm today. It was in the 80s. You know, it's in the 80s and sunny. There's not a lot of downtime once a floor like this starts going. And you can see I'm just going to hit that, what was the, the last of that truck on the big floor that we had to empty out on this little thing. So I'm going to hit that one little piece just to make sure it doesn't get too hard. And then I'm going to go back out onto the big floor and I'm actually going to second float a small piece. Sometimes we'll we'll float something twice if we feel like it uh, it needs to be, and it, so maybe it's a little early to lay it down with the finish blades. We always try to hit our edges too. Every time we hit the floor, we'll go out there and we'll hit our edges. That way, that ensures that the edges come out really nice and smooth, like the floor is going to come out. This had the big floor had four different door openings in it that we had to taper down. So we taper those down right where the door openings are and then we, we mag and trowel those and then we give them a light broom finish and we also run an edger up, up the board too to make that edge rounded and that just helps strengthen the edge. And you can see Luke's going back now. He's hitting that whole thing again. Doesn't take long to hit it with that four footer. He's pretty fast with it going around the drains Still waiting for this one little piece here on the left, this this little flat piece to dry up a little bit. That was in the shade for quite a while, so it's quite a bit behind the rest of the floor. So we're gonna let that firm up a little bit more before we hit it. Don't want to hit it too early. You can see some of it, some of it right on this closest edge to us where the board is. It still looks pretty wet right there. That was in the shade the longest. Luke can pretty much handle that that whole thing that 60 by 40 now with just that one power trial that thing's that thing goes pretty fast and he's pretty good with it too he's been finishing concrete for years how many of you guys finish with just walk behind trials like we do let me know down in the comments and if you if you've never used a power trial like this but you want to learn how you know let me know down there in the comments too is ask tell me you'd like to learn and I can come out with more videos about power trialing Power trialing, I mean, it, there's definitely a, a, a learning curve to it. There's a little trick to running those power trials. But, I mean, once you learn how to run them and maneuver them and then understand the, the, the finishing quality of the concrete, letting it dry, hitting it again, letting it dry a little bit more, hitting it again, once you understand the timing of the finishing process, you know, finishing is really not too bad once you understand all that. But... It, that does take experience. There's really no other way to learn than experience. And you got to have someone willing to teach you to get that experience. So, you know, I can do the best I can for you guys on video, but the video is still not going to replace what the actual experience is going to be like on the concrete itself. But it will give you a pretty good idea. You can see Darren's tapering down that last doorway right now. So he... He cuts out about a half inch of concrete. You can see him right there. And then he tapers that right where the garage door is going to sit down. Uh, back in about, you know, eight or nine inches in from the board. So that way when the garage door sits down there, any water that hits the door from rain is going to hit that taper and just run out the door and not back under it. You can see how Luke's moving right along. He's just keeping up with the floor. Keeps hitting it. If he has to just keep hitting it over and over again, he does. If he has a chance to stop for a minute or two, he will. I'm floating that one last little piece. Then I'm going to go up there and shut the power trial off. And now I'm kicking those float blades off, those heavier blades. So I can start using the finish blades. And if uh, Luke needs any help, I can go out there and help him. If not, then I can just stay on that little piece of floor there and finish that. 
Again, guys, if this is your first time watching, you know, go ahead down there and hit subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Hit the like button too if you don't mind. That helps my videos rank a little better in YouTube when you guys interact with them either by commenting, hitting the like button, you know, and sharing them. Definitely, you know, if, if you guys got social media, share them with all uh, your different social medias. That helps too. As you can see, I'm on there buzzing the edges. Now I'm going to hit with the power trial again. Every time we hit it, it gets a little smoother, a little bit smoother every time. You can see how where Luke's hitting over there on that big one, it's starting to darken up. You can see a little sheen to it. That means it's done. So that thing's that thing's getting rock hard now, and it's it's got almost like a glass finish on it, which is which is what the owner wanted. He wanted that thing really smooth. So if any water got on the surface, it would run right right to those floor drains. But this was a big pole barn floor, and this is how we power trowel most of our floors. This is how we finish them with a with a with the power trial so again you know thanks for watching i'll have a link for the poor video part one at the end of the video guys